All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, we're sidestepping off of Sweet Baby Inc. really quick to continue the conversation on other studios, other companies, other woke lunatics that absolutely hate you and everything that you stand for. And they have co-opted the same things that you loved in the past. And they're trying to convince you that you're the problem. This is why gatekeeping needs to be a thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an article here from Bounding Into Comics with a headline that reads Marvel Comics uh, executive Tom Bravord doubles down on the belief that for the X-Men, the message is the concept and writes off those who disagree and those who use the term woke in their criticism as cretins. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, these are the people that are in charge of your entertainment. Going, it's funny that people call it the X-Men. There's a lot of female um, of female superheroes in that X-Men group, so I think it's outdated. And by the way, the women are always saving the men around here. You might want to think about changing the name to X-Women. Bruh. Now, of course, we've talked about X-Men quite a bit on the channel recently because of the TV show coming out, X-Men 97, that is supposed to be a continuation of the 90s show, and yet somehow, someway, has a modern-day identity politics in it that never existed back in the 90s, but that's neither here nor there. They want to convince you you're crazy for realizing that, and they're making all the women ugly, yet magically keeping all the men the same. It's just a, a very interesting thing that they want to keep calling conspiracy theories, and yet they constantly keep doing it. After a while, how many times do you have to piss on me before I gotta tell you that it's pee and it's not raining. He says, in adding an insulting edge to his previous attempt to rewrite history through a modern lens, Marvel Comics executive Tom Bravehort has dismissed those who dissent to his belief that progressive social messaging is an inherent part of the X-Men's identity and specifically use the term woke in their criticism as nothing more than Cretans acting in bad faith. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they're trying to say you are the bad actor in bad faith. So let's get into this article, guys, from Bounding Into Comics. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate Appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. This is good old Tom Bravewood right here. As previously reported, Bravewood first shared his read of the team's origins in December 2023 when in response to fans' hopes that the upcoming X-Men event from uh, from the ashes would curve Marvel's merry band of mutants line away from focusing on overly progressive grandstanding look no further than the decision to put Wolverine, of all people, in a throuple with Jean Grey and Cyclops and take it back to its more adventurous route. He declared via his personal Twitter account, it's X-Men. The message is the premise. Now, again... Ladies and gentlemen, this whole thing about X-Men always being woke, this whole thing about X-Men message being the, the entire idea behind X-Men, Stan Lee literally came out and said against that, that that is just what people think that's what it is, but that was not his intention. He made it very clear that none of this was his intention. This is just what people have adopted it into being. It's basically people who are making it up in their head and their own fanfic and trying to turn it into something that it's not. He never intended any of this to be ultra woke progressive stuff. He can understand and see why people might have thought that, but this was not his intention. If you don't believe me, you can find the Stan Lee clips himself of him talking and debunking this entire notion of X-Men always being woke. It says, and though he initially allowed his brief tweet to stand as his one and only statement on the matter, the Marvel Comics senior VP and executive editor would eventually return to the topic on March 3rd, courtesy of a reader question submitted to his personal Substack newsletter, Man With A Hat. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, they're never going to be able to let it rock, right? These people, their ideology is everything. It means the world to them. They need they need their ideology to be front and center in everything. It's symbolism. It's like you can go down the rabbit hole However far you want to go, and the farther you go, the more you're going to realize these lunatics need this stuff. They need it because without this, they have nothing. They have no personality to offer. They have nothing else that they're skilled in, no sort of talent whatsoever. This is who has taken over modern day entertainment. The age of talented writers, the age of talented actors is unfortunately a dying art on both sides. It says, with the new X-Men 97 show coming out, a lot of mainstream attention has been put on the X-Men, and all the unusual suspects are making their rounds, accusing it of being woke garbage before it's even released, and it's prompted a lot of conversation about the role that progressivism and so-called wokeness does and should play in the X-Men, wrote a reader who simply referred to herself as Callie. Of course, it's a female. Uh, Do you believe that the X-Men and their comics should be taking a stand and making a statement on current issues minorities face in spirit with their history and origins? I personally feel 
feel that's a very important thing to keep, and nearly all the X-Men best stories were made through that lens, such as God Loves, Man Kills, Days of Future Past, the original Sentinel Sagas, and even a lot of stuff in the Krakoan era. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a person who is probably reading some of the more modern X-Men stuff, and even if they aren't, I don't really believe that this is a fan called Callie at all. I think this is someone who is disingenuously representing X-Men, as, as many people do. Many people disingenuously re represent X-Men and they're like, oh, well, XYZ is a literal recreation of the civil rights or XYZ is a literal recreation of whatever social event that might have happened in the past. And Stan Lee has literally said that is not the case. The people take it out of context and they see what they want to see and they turn it into something that it's not. This is just somebody who was literally so lazy that he made he made the ability for them to have whatever power he could make up easy so that he didn't have to go so hard into thinking into their powers. Like, this is the kind of guy who clearly has come out against what you all are saying about X-Men always being woke. It's like, you desperately want a certain IP to be woke because God knows you've corrupted everything else that you know for a fact was never progressive and ultra woke to begin with. So this is your one thing. This is the last thing that you have that you're latching onto, and it's the X-Men. It says, uh... Braveheart began his response first off. I think the ill-defined accusation of being woke is nonsense, and I tend to turn off and tune out whenever it comes up in almost any context. Okay, so I mean, you don't want to have a conversation. That's good. The people who are using it and who brandish it like a sword to attack whatever they don't like tend to be mostly, well, cretins, he then declared. They aren't making a good faith argument. They just come up with an all-purpose term and an infinitely adaptable scarlet letter that they can hang on anything they don't like for any reason. Well, the funny thing is, you guys are the ones that do that, too. That's that's like the pot calling the kettle black right you guys do that too you have your labels for literally everything everything you try to label everything as racist misogynist sexist this transphobic whatever you guys come up with all the buzzwords you have way more buzzwords than anybody else will ever have so i think it's funny that you're trying to say that we label stuff because we're against this fake diversity nonsense we're against this stuff that seemingly mostly just white people come up with because they're bored and they have white guilt and they want a virtue signal to black people that they have a fetish for that's your thing that <laughs> if that's your thing that's all good but don't try to pass it off as oh we're creepy because we have something that we disagree with. It says, uh, from their turning his attentions from said critics' terminology to their actual arguments, Brave War toward Cali, they, they, that all laid out. I'll tell you what I said previously on social media when a version of this question came up. For X-Men, the message is the concept. This is the book about oppressed outsiders, each a minority of one for all, that they share the X-gene and a commonality of purpose, who are hated and feared because they are different and who have to constantly struggle to find acceptance within a society that does not understand them and wishes that they would just go away. Way. Every X-Men comic book published since 1963 uh, would is about these themes to one degree or another. He concluded, without them, it wouldn't be X-Men. So while our primary objective is always going to be to entertain and to thrill, this is always going to be a prevalent stratum in every X-Men story. Notably, despite this read of the X-Men having become a recent element of the team's pop culture identity, it was not part of their original concept. That's exactly what I am saying. As explained by the team's co-creator, Stan Lee, during a 2004 interview given to the archive of American television's Lisa Tirada for the group's living television collection, well, this is a funny story. Everything's a funny story. After I had done the Fantastic Four, the Hulk, Spider-Man, I think the X-Men came next at the industry icon, the X-Men, and one other, I think Daredevil, they're about the same time. It looks like they have this video here on bounding into comics so please make sure you guys check it out if you want to see the interview so that you guys know exactly what x-men always was meant to be not what these progressive hacks have taken it over and made it into it says, anyway, I wanted to do another group, another group of superheroes, but I was getting tired now of figuring out how they got their superpowers, he explained. I couldn't have everybody bitten by a radioactive spider or exposed to a gamma ray explosion. And I took the cowardly way out, he continued. I said to myself, why don't I just make them mutants and say that they're mutants? They were born that way. We all know they are mutants in real life. There's a frog with five legs, things like that. So I won't have to think of new excuses. I'll get as many as I want. And yeah, he's a mutant. That's all. So again, ladies and gentlemen, they, he took the lazy route. He took the lazy route in creating these characters. It has nothing to do with the portrayal of civil rights or whatever the nonsense that progressives want you to believe. Obviously, you can find connotations in anything. If you look hard enough at a story, 
If you look hard enough at a story, of course, you could see similarities to certain things in real life. That doesn't mean that that's what it is. That doesn't mean that that's exactly what it is. And the difference is that now these stories are being written to be exactly what it is. You literally have racial conversations and everything under the sun, blacks, whites, non-binary, things of that nature. You have modern day politics being injected into a story and they're trying to say, oh, well, it's OK because X-Men was always woke. No, it wasn't. You don't understand what Stan Lee was trying to do, and you're trying to just co-opt the story into whatever you want to make it to be. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.